in the beginning. What's good everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today we're gonna be working on the first large horizontal canvas I think I've ever done on this channel, or at least the first one I've done in a very long time because I tend to like to work vertically, it's just the orientation that I like more. But I wanted to challenge myself and give myself a horizontal one to work on this time. And uh, this one is called The Bridge Between Us. And it's just kind of a general call to unity, which I think we could all use right now. And I especially know us in the United States could use pretty badly right now. Um, so not uh, not the same sort of backstory and, and meaning that a lot of my pieces have. But, you know, I just felt like it was something that uh, is relevant and poignant. So let's get into it, shall we? So one thing that's very important to me in my art is to never waste anything. First of all, because art supplies are super expensive, but also because I just don't want anything to go to waste that doesn't need to. Like most of my canvases, this one included, are recycled canvases. You guys have seen me um, use a lot of canvases that have already been painted on and just paint over those. But that also includes things like my transfer paper which I use for pretty much every piece that I do. So one thing I'm going to be doing right here real quick, especially since this is a larger piece, is I'm going to be piecing together these strips of transfer paper and setting them up so that they're the right size. Just want to let you guys know that that's one of the things that I do and that's an option for everyone who doesn't want to waste anything. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you got to tape all these things together, but you obviously don't want to do it on this darker side because that's where the graphite's coming from and you'll block the transfer. So you do it on the lighter side and then you also want to try and make sure that you're only taping on parts that won't be on the piece itself, so like on these edges and whatnot. Um, I'll probably not be able to do that entirely here because of how many different pieces I have but I'll just have to fill in some lines when I'm doing the line work, or when right after I do the transfer and when I got my sketch on there. Take time. Et voila, a brand new sheet, perfectly sized for the piece, and we're good to go. Now, just gonna set up my newsprint and put the doodle grid onto it, and then 
We'll take that off and then put this back underneath the doodle grid and transfer over the sketch. Wow, I think two of these sheets is legitimately the exact size of this canvas. How do you like that? Now this one might be a little bit tricky because it's so perfectly aligned, especially on the center line here. I'm gonna have to be really careful not to get the pencil through and onto the canvas, which might be a bit rough, but you do what you can. Yep, see, like that. <laughs> The only thing that's important about these doodle grids is that you have enough reference points. It doesn't really matter what you draw at all. It's just so that you can tell where your sketch should line up. All that really matters is that they're distinctive from each other so that when you're looking at it in the picture, it's not hard to figure out which um, spot or which little doodle thing you're trying to align it from. So sometimes I'll draw little characters and stuff really quickly. Other times I'll just draw little random shapes and scribbles and stuff. Um, because I just need to get this done quickly so I can move on. Now it's time to move the sketch over. It's time for the tricky part. You gotta get this up, but keep it together. And then gotta put that transfer paper underneath. Hopefully this works out well. Gotta be real delicate with this, which is not what I'm known for. Straighten all this out, make sure it's stretched out. You don't want a bunch of wrinkles in it. Although that's kind of inevitable with how I set this up. It's the time of reckoning. Let's see how well this went. Hell yeah. That worked out great. And no wasted transfer paper. I got a soccer game tonight, so I gotta get some practice in. Come on. Yeah! And then one for the hoops. Hey.
Well, there you have it. The bridge between us is complete. This one's been a little bit of a different piece for me, not only because of the um, shape and orientation of the canvas. I don't usually do a lot of large horizontal pieces, but also because it's not really a single character like I generally do for my paintings. It's, I guess, three characters melded into one, <laughs> but none of them are really fleshed out in their uh, personalities or characteristics. So it's just been a little bit of a different process making this one versus uh, all my other ones that I've made in this series. But I think I like how it turned out. I don't know. I just finished it and it's kind of late uh, right now. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to look at it again another day to really decide whether I like it or not. But you guys let me know whether you guys liked it or not in the comments below. And also let me know if you have any suggestions for any future videos or any questions about anything that I do. I'm happy to look through those and answer them for you. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would be fantastic, it would really help me out a ton. And if you like me, you wanna help support me, you like the channel, then the best thing that you can do is to subscribe. That would be fantastic, thank you so much. And uh, with that out of the way, and without further ado, let's get into those final shots, shall we? watching.